just for you guys, a pretty balanced scoring effort tonight. Just what you see from the level of comfort you guys had in here tonight. Um, I think it's you know us just growing as a group. You know you. You put a lot of really good players together. It takes time to gel and to get to know each other. Um, and just to make things work for everybody. Um, and early in the season, I just kept saying, you know, it's good that we learning and we winning at the same time. And I think now you're starting to see us win in a, a different type of way because we're starting to get to know each other a little better. We're getting more comfortable. And, um, you know, it's, it's just different. You know, when you can communicate a little differently. Um, you know when somebody likes, you know what somebody wants. Uh, and you know how to make it work for everybody a little bit. So we just continue to get better. And uh, I think a game like tonight shows it. There's that spot in the second quarter and then again at the start of the fourth quarter where you and Giannis are sitting next to each other on the bench and Chris is the one kind of on the show. Yeah. What is it meant for you to see the lead go up during those moments? I mean, it's a, it's a luxury. Um, you know, I think that's a sign of being on a, a really good team is when you can have, you know, your best players on the bench or, you know, not all of your best players on the floor and, you know, guys can come in and just get the job done. Um, not just keeping the lead, but the lead going up, you know, us kind of pulling away on teams and uh, having a lot of vets on our, our team, a lot of guys with experience, um, guys that are connected. Um, you know, that those types of things can happen on the floor when you have that type of group. So. Um, like I said, it's a luxury, and uh, I think it just shows our growth as a team. What, what is it about this matchup? You guys look so comfortable against them this year. Um, I don't. I don't think it's about as much about the matchup as it is about us. Um, you know, I think we we saw them early. It was a back and forth game, and then we saw them again. Uh, you know, before we went to Vegas for the plan, we was a little bit better, and I think tonight, you know, was probably our best. You know, and they. They've just seen us at different stages of the season, you know, as far as who we are as a team. And um, I think right now we're at, at our best, you know, as far as this season goes. And um, I think it shows in our performances, but I don't think it's uh, about comfort. You know, they're a great team. Um, they got guys that can fill it up. Um, you know, they got a, a really good record. They won a lot of games. So I don't think it's about us being comfortable with them as much as it is about our, our growth as a team. In general, you feel like you guys you know, about to play them for the fourth time. To, uh, you know, the next day, you got the Pacers you played a couple times, you played the Bulls a couple times. I don't know if to you it feels like you play the same teams, but when you play all these teams in like a short amount of time like this, you play the same team. Uh, I, I, does it change anything? Does it feel like an asymmetry, you know, intensity or familiarity with each other when you play so soon you stacked on each other like this? Uh, kind of. Uh, I think for this situation specifically, when you play a team twice on the road, it's usually a little harder to, to, win, to win twice in such a short amount of time, especially on the road. Um, but for me, I've been in the Western Conference my whole career. So playing against these teams like this to me is like still, still new, you know. So it doesn't feel like for them it probably feels like we've seen these dudes too much. But I don't, I haven't seen them this much. So for me, is it feels normal. When, when you see you guys are getting familiar with each other, Dame, how does that sort of manifest itself on the court, like in a game like this, as opposed to six weeks ago? What, what's different? Uh, I just think time and uh, also experiences. You know, we've had our, our moments of frustration. Uh, as individuals and as a team, you know, where we expect better from ourselves. Uh, you know, guys coming into a new situation like myself, um, you know, Chris and Giannis, uh, me being new to them. Um, you know, it's normal for us all to have moments of frustration, you know, because you want things to be able to work for everybody, but it might not be going how you want it to go um, or what may, uh, in a comfortable way for you. And uh, we just kept we just kept working through it. You know, we didn't separate. We just kept trying to find solutions. And um, the same for us just as a group, you know, trying to get used to a new coaching staff and everything. We've just kept every day. We don't we don't come in and let things kind of keep rolling. We come in and we try to find answers and we uh, try to improve. And, you know, we're not ignoring things. We've addressed everything, you know, our struggles at times defensively. Uh, our struggles at times offensively, you know, what's going to work for, for Chris, what's going to work for Giannis, how do we space the floor, what's going to work for me, you know, how do we uh, improve our defense, what works for Brooke defensively, what works for him offensively, what do we got to do in our second group, like these are conversations that we just straight up had been having, you know, through the wins, and um, I think because of that we've been able to, to really grow and become the team that we are now, and we still got, got a